What is going on everyone? Thanks for tuning in. So the M2 MacBook Air is actually receiving a lot of negativity and it is claimed to be having a lot of thermal throttling issues. Now some of you out there who might be looking to buy a new MacBook Air M2 uh, might also be wanting to do some heavy tasks uh, every now and then. And you might be wondering if it heats up so much then uh, should we buy a cooling pad with it? Like a laptop cooling pad that can help it cool down and extend uh, some of the performance a bit. Well, I've been using the M2 MacBook Air for quite a while now and I have also made uh, unboxing and the full review and also uh, more such videos regarding the drama and the controversies surrounding this laptop. So make sure to check that out as well on my channel. I'll be linking that somewhere in this video. Now for my test, I actually bought a very affordable Zebronix uh, cool laptop cooling pad. It's not like a heavy or a premium laptop pad as such. It is more in the budget segment. And that is what I wanted to try out because if you uh, buy this laptop and also try to go for a very budget uh, and an affordable uh, laptop cooling pad, then will it actually help? Will it actually uh, help in the heating and throttling issues that this laptop may sometimes have? Now, full disclosure, in my entire usage, I actually, most of the times, like 99% of the times, I have not actually even felt this laptop getting even warm to that extent. Like in, even in some heavy situations also, the laptop was very cool. So that is something that I wanted to get out of the way because in everyday usage, you will definitely not feel that heating up uh, uh, or anything like that. Even though this laptop does not have a fan, the efficiency that the M2 chip operates with is, I know that it, uh, I know that many reviewers out there are actually saying that this chip is very hot, but most of the us usages that I do, especially even in heavy usage, like video editing, I actually did not even feel it getting warm. But still, for the sake of this test, I wanted to try out a couple of heavy tasks and we'll see further in this video. Now, another thing that I wanted to note down was, see, a laptop cooling pad would actually help if you have any openings or any uh, grill-like structure in the bottom of the laptop. Whereas in this laptop, if you see, it's entirely enclosed. It has no openings whatsoever for the air to directly go inside. So like technically, like really technically, if you see a cooling pad, is not supposed to actually help this laptop. But still, let's see if, if in actual real world usage, does it help? And for this test, I actually uh, tried to do uh, two heavy tasks where I actually thought that this thermal throttling or this heating up issue can arrive. Because do note that after a certain level of continuous load, only then this laptop would actually start to get hot. Because if you're even doing continuous loads for about five to 10 minutes, then also it might not be that hot. It might just get, start to get a little warm. But after that, when you put continuous loads on the processor, then it might get hot. So the first scenario that I did was, uh, see MacBooks and especially Air uh, MacBooks, people usually buy to do some light video editing stuff. And I am also like, I run this YouTube channel. So I do a lot of video editing. And the only way, even within video editing, uh, we can expect that while exporting or rendering a video, it may heat up. Because let me be honest, in actually editing or editing through the timeline, even adding some effects, some light effects, it will not get hot because that is not a continuous load to say. It is just like a spike in the load, which it will sustain really better than other laptops. So in order to put that continuous load on this laptop while it's exporting a video, I chose one of my videos, which is a 4K 30 FPS video. It is about 39 minutes in length and the total render size of the video is 35 GB. So I'll straight away show you the results. Now, without using this cooling pad, this export actually took 27 minutes in total. To be exact, it is 27 minutes and 18 seconds. So yeah, in real world performance, like this laptop is not blazing fast, but still 27 minutes is a respectable time, I would say. Now I turned the cooling pad on and even with the cooling pad on, it took about the exact same time, 27 minutes and 18 seconds, a little less than 18 seconds, about between 17 and 18 seconds. But hey, does it really matter? Now, the real world science behind this is that actually I tried to touch the keyboard and also the back bottom of this laptop while it was exporting and it did not even feel it getting warm. So if you are exporting videos and especially if you are a light video editor, then you will definitely not face any heating up issues whatsoever and you don't really need that cooling pad. So in this test also, actually that cooling pad effect is not properly tested because it had a laptop did not even heat up. So I tried to find another scenario and that is actually in gaming. Now I found a good DMG file of Arkham City and uh, 
note that this game is not actually opt- optimized for apple silicon and that is why while running this game after 5 to 10 minutes the laptop started getting really hot so i thought that this is really an appropriate test to do to see if the cooling pad would actually make an effect now without the cooling pad to my surprise uh, i tried to play play the game for about 45 minutes to 1 hour and the laptop actually got really hot like really really hot like i uh, could not even touch it and even on the keyboard side also it was getting really hot but to my surprise uh, it should actually throttle it should bring down the performance to you know uh, maintain that heat but uh, i think it is because that game is not optimized for apple silicon it did not do so it did not throttle its performance it maintained the very high around 60 fps frame rate which is actually impressive i have never played this game so smoothly on any other laptop before so the gameplay was really impressive but i was worried because it was getting really hot and that heat could actually you know uh, damage your internal components so uh, prolonged heat inside the body of the laptop should not be there you should allow some time to cool it down because in the long run it may damage your internal components so now i tested it with the cooling pad on so again uh, i do understand that this is not a powerful cooling pad as such and that is why uh, i could feel that the heat that it generated without the cooling pad was a tiny bit less with with the cooling pad on but still it made no difference whatsoever it was still really hot and after some time especially long time that is about 30 to 40 minutes it really got a little hot and i started to worry that it may damage the internal components so the cooling pad here actually did not help in that uh, regard and in that extent that i thought it m- might have so guys in these two tests we saw that the cooling pad with this laptop at least does not help at all and i think that is to do with that uh, it does not have any openings in the lower part of the chassis uh, the only way heat can go through this laptop is via the keyboard the space between the keys so i think there i think a cooling environment like if you're sitting in an air conditioned environment or if you have cooler temperatures uh, normally then that would actually help that may help but a cooling pad would definitely not help but still there is one reason that i might still keep this cooling pad it's just that it provides a good uh, you know base a good laptop stand to say and that is not just a laptop stand but the grills that it has on the uh, on the upper side of the cooling pad it actually allows uh, more heat to flow through the laptop also from the upper side and also the, on from the down side so i think that if you're just keeping it on a table or on your sofa or on your bed uh, the heat will not actually get any uh, you know it will flow through whatever you're keeping it on but it will not get that much uh, you know room for that but if you're having a grill like structure below it uh, with the cooling pad then i uh, i think it may make some uh, a little bit of difference that can uh, you know help prolong the life of the internal components if i am doing doing such continuous loads on this laptop now i know that this is not a big reason to keep the cooling pad and that is why i straight away suggest that do not go with the cooling pad solution because it does not make a difference in my opinion and in my testing also but that being said i just want to make it clear that in everyday usage even while doing heavy tasks uh, it does not heat up at all there are only some cases especially where you are using some apps or some games which are not optimi- optimized for apple silicon even uh, just in those cases uh, it may get hot and and then i would seriously warn you like if you do such tasks then you should go for the macbook pros because if they have multiple fans and they do help uh, dissipate the heat for those applications because in any laptop or even in any device continuous heat especially so much heat inside it should not be there for long periods of time because it can damage your internal components and reduce the life of your device so guys that was it i hope this video helped you And if you have any questions then let me know in the comment section below I'll catch you in the next one peace